Hello Super User and welcome to Challenge Tuesdays, a series where I present you a challenge to help you learn Finale even better. And today we're going to answer the last challenge, which is how many different ways can you copy and paste in Finale. And make sure you stay until the end because there are many highly specific ways you can copy and paste that can greatly speed up your workflow. And some of them you've probably never even heard of before. Now a quick shout out to Elodysseus who gave the most ways to copy and paste in the comments of the last challenge video. And one of the last pieces of housekeeping before we dive in. As you may know, I am building up a newsletter with all these new videos as well as sharing with you some great JPW Lua scripts. And YouTube doesn't always share the new videos with you even if you're subscribed. So these emails will include things like weekly digests of the top videos and blog posts of the week. That way you can make sure you never miss out on anything extremely helpful. Now back to the challenge. Now the first way to copy and paste is of course highlight and then come up here to the menu bar, edit, copy, and then you select the new measure and then edit and paste. Of course you can also do the exact same things with command C and command V. So just highlight the measures and hit command C then highlight the places you want to paste and then hit command V to paste it. Now you can also do the exact same thing with the right click menu. So highlight the measures, right click and then hit copy and then select the new measure, right click and then hit paste. And there's also another shortcut that allows you to copy and paste things multiple times. So highlight a measure and hit Command C or Control C to copy, and then select where you want to start pasting it multiple times. On a Mac, it's Command Control V, and on Windows, it's Control Alt V. And then you can select how many times you want to paste it horizontally, let's say like three times, and then you want to paste it like two times vertically. So you're basically creating a grid to copy and paste things multiple times. Now another way you can copy and paste is basically by highlighting a measure or measure region and then just dragging onto a new measure. You can also direct paste by doing option click, control click on windows. Then another fun way to copy and paste is to copy and paste into a clip file. So highlight this region, come up here over to edit, and then you aren't going to see clip files automatically, but hit option if you're on Mac and control if you're on windows, and you can see copy to clip file. So select the menu item and then save it wherever you want and hit save. And then to paste it, you just select the new measure and then edit. And then again, you have to hit either option or control, paste from clip file, and then select the clip file. And then alternatively, you can insert from clip file using the exact same method. So under edit and then insert from clip file. And all this does is it adds the necessary measures. So instead of overwriting it, it just inserts these measures like that. So you can see we still have one full measure before the next iteration. And of course, if you have like a bunch of articulations on a measure and you want to copy and paste this over to all of these, you can always use Smart Find and Paint. Smart Find and Paint can be found under Edit and then Smart Find and Paint. And you basically want to select the source region for the highlighted region. That can also just be Control F or Command F. And then to paste it everywhere that are similar patterns, you just hit Command Shift F or Control Shift F and then Paint All. Five patterns painted and close the window. Another classic one is move and copy layers where you can highlight and measure and then go to right click and then move and copy layers where you can basically copy contents of layer one into layer two, like this. You can also just move it directly, but you can also copy them that way. You can also find this under edit and then move and copy layers. So let's say you have a bunch of lines and you have expressions on this one line that you'd like to copy and paste to the other lines below. One very useful and quick way to do that is with the expression tool, just highlight and last of these measures and then hit option and down arrow to copy them down. You can also hit option and then up arrow to copy them up. Control on Windows. Now this isn't the only way you can do this. You can also use this with edit filters. So you can copy this with control C, come up here to edit and then edit filter and then click none. And then let's say we wanted to do expressions like this and hit OK. Then when we paste it, we're only pasting the expressions. Now there are three more ways you can use the edit filter. You can either option shift click whenever you're selecting the region to get to the edit filter dialog box. You can also, after you've copied this using Command C or Control V, you could then come up here to edit. And then if you hit Command and Shift, you can insert and filter using the exact same dialog box. Or you can also paste and filter using the exact same dialog box. Another very useful thing we can do, since this is Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars and we can add lyrics to here, is we can quickly copy and paste the lyrics on here already pre-hyphenated. So all you have to do is just type out these lyrics in another editor. Uh, a nice easy way to do it is with the lyric hyphenator so that you can automatically hyphenate your lyrics correctly. Then copy paste this, come back here to finale. With the lyrics tool, go to the lyrics window. You can also find that under lyrics window and make sure click assignment is pressed. Then copy and paste the hyphenated lyrics into this window. 
and then here you can just click and it will automatically just start pasting the lyrics in here. Of course, if you want to paste all the lyrics automatically, you can just hit option and then click the first note of the melody and it pastes all the lyrics in. I believe it is control click on Windows. And another really easy thing to do is if you have a bunch of rhythms like this, and then, I don't know, you have a whole note there and you want to basically copy the rhythms over here, or another pattern over here, is using JW Pattern Copy. So, Plugins, JW Plugins, and then JW Pattern Copy Set Source, and then on the final measure, Plugins, JW Plugins, and then JW Pattern Copy Create. And then also, in JW Pattern, you can find one that's Carbon Copy Dynamics. So, under here, under Dynamics, there is Carbon Copy. We could take the source staff and then highlight all these and then apply and then close to automatically carbon copy dynamics. Another useful JW plugin is if you have multiple parts, like let's say you have this part and you took nice and careful care to, you know, create all the alignment and everything with the part layout. And then you go to this part and you want the exact same layout. You can quickly copy the layout of the first part into the second part with JW copy part layout. So again, plugins, JW plugins, and then JW copy part layout. It'll take you to this dialog box, select part one, and then copy part layout. And then two final ways to copy and paste are with the Patterson plugins. You have Patterson plugin mass copy, which is similar to using the edit filter, but it allows you to do it in one dialog box. That way you can just have it open and then copy things quickly and easily. Another one is page title copy, which basically allows you to copy page titles from one part to another. So if either of those sound interesting to you, definitely check out the Patterson plugin collection, I'll link in the description. Now that is 21 different ways you can copy and paste in Finale. And even though there are more ways you can do this, like technically JW staff polyphony is copying between staves, and technically also Q notes are a form of copying. Same thing with like canonic utilities and piano reduction. But I'm gonna stop there just because the list will go on and on and on. But if I miss something that you feel should be on this list, feel free to put it in the comments below and I will pin that comment. Now for next week's challenge, it's going to be very simple, but also potentially a bit harder. It's how many different ways can you navigate the finale file? And I'm not talking about like switching between parts like this or even moving between files. Like if you have a new file here, you can just move between them by tabbing through them. I'm just talking about moving around within a score or within a single part. Like how do I get from, you know, this measure over here to this measure or anything like that. So leave your answers in the comments below. Whoever has the most number of answers, I will feature in the next challenge Tuesday. The deadline for this is on Friday, so that way I can record the video over the weekend. And one last thing before ending the video, I recently launched my Keyboard Meister course on how to use Keyboard Meister in Finale. Last year I saved 240 hours of Finale work with Keyboard Meister, and this course basically details exactly how I did it, all the way going down to my specific macros, uh, and literally every single detail I can think of, as well as how you can customize everything I did to meet with your setup. So definitely check that out if you're interested in learning more about Keyboard Maestro. So that's it for today. That is 21 different ways you can copy and paste in Finale. If you found this video at all helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out.